Howdy, folks. Um, <laughs> I got a coffee. It's been one hell of a week. Excuse the mess behind me. I've still yet to clean it up. I have recorded this video shortly after I recorded a ton of World of Tanks content. So I'm a little bit... Mm, new microphone. Um, I explained in one of the... <clears throat> I explained in one of the Tiger, uh, Tiger One videos why uh, we have a new uh, microphone. Hopefully, it sounds a lot better. Uh, sorry about this, guys. I legit have to take these ibuprofen because I'm not feeling 100%. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, like sinus pressure plus nasal and fever and a whole bunch of icky stuff, so. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so, there's that. First things first. Some of you may or may not know I do cybersecurity. It is one of my... I would say it, it, it is my primary source of income, but it is not my main job. Um, what I mean by that is I work on a contract base, which means I am contracted out by other companies to do um, audits basically uh, but pretty much a company will ask me or come up to me and pay me to ethically hack their system find where their weaknesses are and then they can patch it they can fix it etc etc and so with all the big um, um, Burries hacking Disney and uh, um, Snowflake and a whole bunch of other companies fucking up and getting hacked and whatnot. I cannot stress this enough to you people. Okay, please get two-factor authentication. And I know it's not perfect it is not perfect i am not saying that it is perfect but some there's the old japanese phrase 10 percent of something is better than 100 percent of nothing okay and i mean it it really is 10 percent of something is absolutely better than 100 percent of nothing okay and so what you need to understand what you need to do is you need to get at least a, a, a two-factor app on one of your phones i have two phones and people are why do you have two phones in fact i have more than two phones i've got like 10 phones but some are used for work some are used for side projects some i even convert into handheld gaming devices um case in point i use this razor whatever it is and turn them into basically atari Lynx's um playstation portables you name it i can turn them into whatever i want but most importantly, these are my actual phone phones. Okay, one of them is a number. I do, it's not public. I I I pay my phone company to keep my phone number private. And as far as I know, there's only two people that know that number. Well, actually, no, there'll be the phone company, myself, and two other people. So four people. So only four people know that number. And that is a dire emergency number. Of course, now my phone's going to start going mad at me. <laughs> Lovely. And so... Oh, where do I begin? So, I always use the unknown number with an app on there. And it's an eSIM, which means there's no physical SIM in the phone. Even though the phone can take a SIM, there's no SIM in the phone. Okay, there's a dummy SIM in there. So, it makes it a lot harder to clone the SIM. Now, cloning a SIM is pretty... It's not that hard to do. And I don't mean you take it out and put it on a machine and you can clone it that way. You can, if you have physical access to that phone. My hair is an absolute mess. I've got to get a haircut. But... 
what I mean is someone can call up your cell phone carrier, mobile phone carrier, um, T-Mobile, uh, Sprint, uh, Metro PCS, whoever it is. Say they're you, reverse engineer your info, yeah, so they can go on the dark web. And with this leak, they've got your name, they've got your address, they've got your social, they've got all the info that they need. They can call up your cell phone provider and say, hello, I'm Mr. Smith. Um, this is my address. This is the last four digits of my social, yada, yada, yada. All the security checks is required by, by the phone company. And they can say, you can say, I've lost my phone, including my SIM. I have a replacement hands held. Can you send me a new SIM, please? And then they can give that, and then they'll say, "Oh, I'm out. I'm out of town. Yada yada yada. Could you please send it to here?" And most phone companies won't even blink an eye. If you're smart, you will contact your cell phone provider and say, "My data has been leaked." You'll be you'll be very proactive. There's several companies you can use. Um, I don't have affiliate links with any of them. I don't have affiliate links with any of them, but the point is, uh, there's Guido, there's a whole bunch of others. Um, so, how there's even a company out there that I subcontract for that does that job, and they do it quite efficiently. Sorry, this is a GoPro. I was soft uh, EEPROM modding to turn it into a 4K camera. Anyway, so point is what you can do is you can um you can contact the company contact get a credit monitoring system and know people are with us actually it's not it's only about five bucks okay get a credit monitoring system because that five dollars you spend a month will last you oh, my glasses are a pain in the ass i've lost the ear cup that the, the little cup thingy here that sits on my so my glasses look crooked but they're actually not if that makes sense uh, i've got to go to my opt opticians and get them fixed they're even missing on the other pair of glasses i've got and the only other glasses i've got are these super duper short slab magnified ones for modeling and i'm not wearing those because i end up with a severe migraine and i can't not wear glasses because i need them to fucking see anyway um so i'm constantly having to tweak them i apologize so your best bet is to get a credit monitoring system, have them monitor your account, have them actively flag anything that comes in and have them uh, uh, email you on a different email account that's not listed. It's not, it's not that hard to make a new Gmail account or a Proton Mail account or anything like that. Get a backup email account, okay? And don't associate it with, so don't put it in your full legal name. Okay, put it in, I don't know, your favorite TV show character's name or something like that. Malcolm Reynolds, yada, 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 or something else. Yes, that is the captain from Firefly. But my point is, okay, the reason why is because if it is in your name, hackers are going to associate. They're going to go broad spectrum check, Google, there's 59 or 100 different fucking Malcolm Reynolds at gmail.com. Okay. Are they going to specifically know that it is Malcolm Reynolds 44? No, they're not. So are they going to take the time to hack all 100 Gmails? No, they're not. But if they see that it's, you know, Malcolm Jacobs Arnold Ran Reynolds, where there's only one, they know it's yours. They know that that's your, your recovery email. And that's what you need. You need a recovery email. And with this recovery email, sorry, I'm actually answering it. A quick work email. Now, with a recovery email, you can then use that to reset all the master passwords on all of your accounts. They won't know what that is. And hell, you can even have it sent to your hidden phone that they don't know the number because it's not public. Now, phone companies don't want to tell you this because they want to sell that number to advertisers and various other things. But you can contact your cell phone provider and you can say to them, you want to unlist your number. 
And whilst your number is unlisted, you want that phone company to revoke your phone number details to anyone that they have sold that data on. And if they tell you that they can't do that, that is wrong. They can. It's called a Data Protection Act or the Computer and Fraud Protection Act of 1986 in America. In England, it's part of the, the Data Protection Agency Act. They can. They have a list of what companies that they sold your data onto. They can contact them and they can say, pull it down now. And if they don't pull it down, if you keep getting these spam emails, these spam texts saying your Amazon package is late, yada, 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 it's too late. That data has now hit the dark web. And that's people trying to fish for your data. But point is, it's annoying, but this is the legwork you're going to have to. I don't know why it keeps auto focusing, um, but this is the sort of legwork you're going to have to do in order to turn that auto focus off. There we go. That's the work legwork you're going to have to do in order to get your stuff secure and safe. In this day and age i know it seems asinine it is asinine but it is something that you're gonna have to do it is something you're gonna have to it is something that you're going to have to do to get your to get your life in control to control your life to stop people from opening up bank accounts to stop people from opening up uh, um, various other illicit things that you have absolutely no control over. And that's the truth. Because you have no control over any of it at that point. Once the genie's out the bottle, okay, you are buggered. And I mean that. Once once the genie's out the bottle, you are buggered. A hundred percent. And that's the truth. So do the right thing. Do the smart thing. Be proactive. That's what I am. So there's that going. What else? Um, like I said, I've been busy doing that. I've been busy um, learning in a, an obscure le, a coding, a, an obscure code called SLS. Uh, it's a mixture of Python and and and, and Java, which is kind of cool. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's obsolete. It is obsolete. Um, but the point is, the only reason why I'm learning it is because, as you guys know, I do something in I, I I am in something called Second Life. Uh, I don't hide that fact. Um, you can come find me. I'm the same name as I am pretty much anywhere else, except for I'm not called Deceptive Cobras. I'm called something else. But the point is, you can come find me. Um, and you can come hang out. You can, you know, all that fun stuff. And so, two-factor authentication, guys. Cannot stress that. Cannot stress that. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like crap. I cannot stress that. What else? Um, health, microphone update, um, my job. What else? Have, what else have oh, World of Tanks. I've been playing World of Tanks a lot. I do have a North American account, as you guys know. I also have an EU account, as you guys know. My EU account is the one I'm having to primary play on now because the North American account, my ping, is just getting ridiculous until my boss finally gets off his ass. At one, well, not my boss, my landlord finally gets off his ass and gets this fiber optic. In which case, my ping will be like fucking zero. Uh, then I'll be able to play on both accounts uh, and stream on both accounts and have fun on both accounts if you know what i mean but um for now i'm limited to my eu account 
Um, and I, I've decided to mass, go down just the German tech tree. Get the tanks of, I, 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 I ha that I have on the North American server, but on the EU server. And I've noticed that the servers play differently. Well, obviously, duh, different parts of the world. But at the same time, what I've learned on the North American server can be applied to the EU server in a lot of cases. Not all of them, but a lot. And... You know, is what it is, but can't grumble. And if you can grumble, who the hell's going to listen to you? You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm just a bit stuffy, a bit bunged up. Um, working on a... Uh, oh, and I did pick up a little nerd miner. I know I'm not going to get any bitcoins or anything with it, but the point is, it's a fun little project to just have, because you can always repurpose it. You know, you can always flash the, the, the EEPROM on it and repurpose it. Oh, that's a good coffee. Can't taste it. Wish I can, but... Mm. Primary school's kicking out. Uh, so yeah, guys, other than that, I'm just... I've not been feeling 100%, you know? So I figured I'd just do this quick update for you guys. Did you guys rock? And what can I say? You guys rock. You're amazing. Love you all. And uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of World of Tanks. Um, I did try to get back into Enlisted, but for some reason, I can't record and play Enlisted at the same time. I get these weird micro stutters. Um, I even tried streaming it. And playing at the same time and i kept getting the same micro stutters and i tried flying a plane with those micro stutters nope ain't happening ain't happening um i don't know what it is i upgraded my drivers um again not happening the game was just not happy with me having um obs and because uh, um, i can't use streamlabs obs because i stream over on uh, kick because my main, my primary account got banned off of um, Twitch. Again, uh, I'm not going to go into the reasons why. But I'm now predominantly streaming on Kick. Uh, I'm going to double check something real quick in real time. No, my luck, it's probably going to be a feckin' patch. Because there's always a feckin' patch. Yep, there's a feckin' patch. I figured I'd try and boot up Enlisted and give it a shot. I do have a um, video ready to go live today. That will be going live. That's a Tiger 1 gameplay that I played. Um, excuse me. And then I've got another longer game. I think it's got three or four Tiger 1 games in there. Where I wanted to show you guys uh, um, that a lot of people don't like the Tiger 1. Um, especially in World of Tanks. I don't know why. It's the first tank that they, they, they steam line to get. You know, it's tier 7. It often or not sees a lot of tier 9s. I don't know why it shouldn't. It should. It shouldn't. Um, because at that point, tier, most tier 9 tanks that you see in World of Tanks are Cold War era tanks. World War 2 versus Cold War. You know, Cold War era. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Uh, anyway, so yeah, oh, three and a half gig patch. Wait, and you still haven't fixed the fucking planes. I'm sorry. Um, when I'm shooting twenty millimeter cannons, yeah. On the engine deck of, of a BT-7 and I can't penetrate. Something definitely wrong there. I'm sorry, but it is, Gaijin. You need to fix that. 
we can't even customize our, our ammunition loadouts on our planes yet we can choose different and yet we can choose different ammo loadouts for our tanks but we can't choose the ammo loadouts for our planes we can't change we can't set the um uh, bomber fuses can't set the bomb fuses we can't we can't even customize our loadouts on our planes so you got uh um, stuka dive bombers that i know had the 30 millimeter gun pods but don't get 30 millimeter gun pods what all i've got is two 250 kilogram bombs that don't act like 250 kilogram bombs they act like they're basically hand grenades <laughs> Have you ever seen what a 250 kilo bomb does? I have. And that's my whole point. It's like people all of a sudden just don't get it. You know, it's like people want to play a game and have fun. How are you having fun if you're in a plane that has no bombs, and has no guns, and you're the only plane in the sky, and you're strafing soft targets, yeah? And you think to yourself, I know in real life they ran high explosives and various other, am not like a, a varied ammunition load. So, so when you did stray soft targets, you had a higher chance of harvesting more meat per, per bullet. But no. No. Um, I was invited by a group. Oh, this is another little, a little bit of a tangent. I was invited by a group to um, try and reverse engineer uh, heroes and generals. And my only point was why. Why? The game engine that it uses is an obscure engine. It's out of date. You can't... Certain parts of the game require core source code that you don't have and you can't ever get because the developers who have it haven't posted shit in months. Haven't said boo to a goose in months except for, oh, come to our, 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 our Kickstarter, 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 Kickstarter. Listen, if you're a game developer that has a budget, why are you asking for a Kickstarter? I get it. You're asking for, for people to, to chip in to help with the costs. Okay? And that's great and all. That really is. And I wouldn't... Ne if, if, I, if I had a reputable business, okay, if I had a reputable business that was doing fairly decent, I would never ask my player base to financially support my game other than buying a product within the game and getting something for your money. And that was another thing. The reason why game but what why heroes in general has failed is because you failed to deliver on your promise. We were promised different planes. We were promised different tanks. We were promised different things. They added a module system that didn't make no sense. I am a racked a fucking Hellcat. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. If I've hit a tank's ammo rack, it goes fucking kaboom. Tank is done. As far as I know, a Hellcat did not have a blowout panel like a fucking Challenger or an Abrams. Which means it went... <laughs> turret went flying. Crew became instant crispy. They became barbecue fucking chicken wings. If you get what I'm saying. But no... Why? Because your module system was not tested correctly. You rushed everything. Your test server was more down than up ever. So you never ever truly got the feedback you deserved. 
And when you did get feedback from streamers like myself, like Cotton, uh, um, um, like Waxy, like uh, Cal, you, 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 you never listened to us. You never listened to us. Not once did you ever listen to us. And don't, don't fucking tell us that you did when you didn't. Oh, yeah, we'll implement it. When? Christmas? New Year's? 2029? Are you even going to be here in Christmas 2029? No, of course not. Why? Because you're gone now. Because you didn't listen. And you think I'm joking. I'm not joking. You just didn't listen to us. We tried telling you. And the things we were talking about weren't even that hard to implement. Like, hey, the texture on this is a bit iffy. Tweak. Done. Or, why is this here? It makes no sense. There's a building that would make, would make, that would make good sense for defense. In certain aspects. Or attack in certain aspects. But, all of a sudden... We can't go into this building. You've, you, you've boarded it up tight. So it's basically this nice building that would have been used for both aggro and defense. And we even... I even remember me and Cotton, we fought tirelessly. He was on one team, I was on the other. We kept fighting over this building because we knew if you held this building, you held that point. And if you held that point, the enemy couldn't push. You know, we couldn't push them, they couldn't push us. Okay? So th it was just one specific building. And, I'm, and I know you veteran HNG players know what building I'm talking about. Well, they decided to just border that building up completely so no one could get in and no one could get out. Why? Then just remove it from the fucking map then. And then you listened to everything we had to say. You said it was a great idea. You take it into consideration. And then you make a tractor drivable and say and make it out to be the biggest deal since sliced bread a fucking tractor and no i'm legit in the game right now and it's freezing even at the main menu yeah it's micro stuttering and i don't know why it's micro stuttering really bad. And I don't know why. I don't like that. Oh well, so I can't play it. I can't stream or record enlisted then. That fucking sucks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to uninstall it. Oh well. So yeah. Anyway, this video's been going on for far too long with me waffling about absolute nothing. So <laughs> I'm gonna just take another quick sip of coffee and wish you guys better health, stay safe, keep an eye on your stuff, okay, seriously, guys, I cannot stress this, just start a credit monitor, go to a credit monitoring company, or Guyardo, or anyone like that, and just have them, try it for 30 days, just while this hack's going on, because these, these data breaches are going on, just to, to maintain your sa safety, okay, Anyway, guys, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.